guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, it's Rich Rides with you. Um, so, a couple days ago, I actually picked up a 2017 Super Duke R. You can see it right here. And it's an amazing bike, honestly. It is one of the fastest, best handling, and best looking bikes. I mean, look at this headlight, right? So, um, I, it's completely stock right now. I'll give you a quick walk around. Sorry. slightly small space that we're dealing with here. But here is back three quarters over this side. So this model actually does have it's a uh, single swing arm. Pretty cool. Uh, digital dash right here. And you know it's just it's a really good looking bike. So uh, today, um, over the couple, past couple days, I've been kind of collecting parts. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take care of this uh, exhaust primarily um, to free up that good-looking single swing arm. Um, it's going to be an exit right here. So it'll just come straight off of where the catalytic converter is right now. Um, I needed a couple extra parts, so I ran over to uh, Rottweiler this morning. Got a couple parts. You got fuel dongling, uh, fuel dongles, uh, two plugs for the O2 sensor. You got the Heeltech uh, exhaust servo eliminator that you need when you throw on an exhaust. Um, the Rottweiler Performance uh, SAS Stage 2, um, the smog and all that uh, emissions crap. And then right here you have the, it's called a Upart exhaust. And that is just going to mount in place of where the cat is right now. Um, it should be pretty loud, so um, we'll see how this goes. Alright, so before we begin, I'm actually going to um, give it a start um, and a couple revs uh, with the stock exhaust, just for a comparison. Try and keep the camera in the same place, um, that way you can get an accurate representation. So I'll go ahead and start it now. That is just a quick rev. Um, first to uh, from 2,000 uh, idle, and then to 3,000, 4,000, then 5,000. Um, and I will uh, do another one of these videos when I am done. All right. So first up, we're going to have this bolt right here on the passenger peg. It's a 10 millimeter. And down here, we're going to take off the uh, little cover. It's a plastic cover. Uh, this is a T25 Torx bit. There is number three, along with this. It's actually metal. Um, I don't know why I thought it was plastic. Um, and then we have the exhaust bolt back here. It's going to be 10 mil. All right, before I get too far, I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, can, can's clamp off, it's going to be it's going to be an 8 millimeter that goes on the clamp, just right there. It's kind of loose a little bit. I don't know if I need to be concerned about that. Go ahead and loosen that one up. 
a little bit warm still from uh, my ride earlier this morning. And there is the bolt. It should just come right apart. There we go. We'll just leave it right there. Um, clamp's just a little bit off. Ten millimeter bolt all the way out. Here's the ten. And this should just pull right off. Okay. There's your stock can. It's uh, it's got some weight to it for sure. Um, I'm just gonna set this on the side. Wow! Look at how much better that already looks. Amazing. All right. So next up, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and undo this uh, clamp for the front of the cat, um, and then. I'm going to go ahead and move to this. This is the exhaust servo. Um, a lot of people have issues with these uh, because of its proximity with the exhaust. It will actually um, cause the gears or whatever plastic piece is inside to uh, fail. So we'll be removing this, um, lose some weight off the bike as well, um, since the Upart exhaust is only down here. All right, so I went ahead and undid this clamp right here. Um, you're going to have on the exhaust servo, you're going to have an 8mm right here, and then on the other side of the bike, you're going to have another two 8mm right, right here and right here. So let me go ahead and get those off. Alright, so I've gone ahead and loosened uh, the one screw on this side, uh, the two on the back side and then uh, the reservoir as well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tie this reservoir to that uh, bolt there, back there that you can see. Um, I'll show you a picture of when it's, when it's completed. But uh, this motor is basically dangling. Uh, you have a plug up top uh, right here. And that will um, free the uh, servo motor. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug that. And then I'm going to get the uh, servo motor out, and then I can drop the, uh, the catalytic converter box. Uh, while I'm in the process here, I just wanted to make a note. Um, you can see on the top there, there is a... Let's see if I can find a place to hold the flashlight. On the top right here, um, there is a little nub right in the center. You're going to press that down, and the plug will go ahead and just slide right off. Like that. Okay, so at this point it should be free. Um, we're going to go ahead and basically there's two little sliders right here and you'll slide the exhaust backwards and it should come out and uh, I expect this thing to be a few pounds so we'll be ready for it. Okay, so the, uh, this, the right side is out. Okay, just kind of wiggle it back and forth until it finally gives. And then you gotta balance this while you pull the ESC motor out. Oh, this is kind of a pain in the butt. Higher. That can help. Yep. That will give us enough clearance. Alright, there it is. Here's your cat box um, and your ESE box. Both of those will uh, go in a nice little storage box for uh, when the next owner, if they want it. Okay, so for the reservoir, uh, we're going to go ahead and stick it right... There's plenty of slack in the line, so don't worry. Um, you're going to stick it right here. Now you're going to take one of the bolts that came off of the um, servo eliminator and go ahead and put that in there. Here is your finished product. The reservoir just sits right there, nice and flat, um, no issues. Uh, plenty of slack in the line. Um, it goes down there into the uh, master cylinder for the rear brake. Alright, so next up uh, we have the servo eliminator out already. Just cut the bag open. Um, nice stickers, uh, always nice when a company 
is willing to send you some free stuff to go with their product. Uh, so we're going to take this out. We are actually going to take where the factory one comes out. And you're going to go ahead and match the pins. And you're just going to plug that in. So you'll get a nice resounding little click when it finally locks in there. Um, installed it will look like this. You can pull the uh, sheathing back over the factory connector. Just like that. And I'm thinking that we will just zip tie it something like this as long as it stays out of the way of that shock we should be fine so I'm gonna zip tie that right there and we'll move on to the next step here we go uh, this is the final product of how it's mounted um, this may become an issue I'll watch out for wear right here um, but in case it does, I'll just relocate it somewhere else. But for now, this will do. Uh, it's in there really solid, won't move around too much. So uh, that should be a good spot for now. All right, so next we have the actual exhaust. Man, this thing's already, it's going to look cool. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and slide these in to the same two pins that the factory one came out of. Just like that, and make sure that it meets up. Same as how the factory one did. Just like that. Man, that is going to look so good. Right before I uh, put that exhaust on, I noticed that this one actually has a little gasket to it. Uh, what I did is I took a pick and I just shoved it down in the crack, kind of lifted it up, did that in several places, and you have a preserved uh, exhaust gasket. Realistically, this is the only surface that will mate with the uh, other side of the exhaust, so don't worry about it um, leaking or anything like that as long as this edge is preserved. All right, let's get this on to aftermarket exhaust. Fits on there nicely. And we'll get that mounted up. Okay, so now we are ready to throw this on. nicely mates. Uh, you want to check and make sure that the two surfaces um, all along this edge are mated together. Then you're going to pull this band clamp back over. I'm going to take the bolt back out. Rotate this clamp around so that it's more hidden. Clamp it down. All right, this on there. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it up. Just until it feels tight. Um, no need to over torque it or anything like that, but. Um, that exhaust gasket should help keep it sealed. It's a much better look for the Super Duke. I love that. Okay. All right. So it cleans up the look a lot. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and start it. Um, the camera should be in about the exact same position. So we'll see how it goes. KTM should actually sound. So uh, that concludes it for this uh, tutorial, guys. Um, I hope it's been somewhat helpful. Um, 
Let me know what else you want to see on this bike. Um, I have the SAS kit about to be installed, as well as the uh, fueling dongles. Those will be separate videos. Um, both pretty easy. So, yeah. Uh, appreciate you guys for tuning in.